Hello everyone, welcome to Video Junkie 91 Plays Roos. That's the pronunciation I believe. Roos is a strategy god game in which you manage resources on this little planet you rule uh, by using four giants. And you gotta deal with all the civilizations that pop up. And we'll be looking at it shortly. We're just gonna do standard era, hour long game help humanity to achieve development and progress through the game while unlocking greater powers. And all that will get explained as we continue through the game. Here's this little cave drawing of one of the giants. We'll be introduced to them very shortly. They are the characters you control. That is the conceit of a god game. You do not control the humans. New era begins. These are developments. So we want to achieve these to advance to more levels. So we got Legendary Warrior, tradition era with the village that has six war markers. That's kind of tough. Great development. We got completed great project and booming era. 1200 prosperity. And that's a lot of random stuff. But here are our main characters, the creation crew. So which one start is with your ocean giant. See him there. Create an ocean to start things off. We'll, what he'll do is he'll make an ocean on this. This is our planet. We have basically the will of the planet right now. We can't do anything on this patch here. These are all wasteland, wet, you can see. But you need water. Over here, look, it's dry. Not much we can do with that. Maybe, maybe we can think about a mountain. He's going to go over there. While the tree guardian is going to raise a forest. Although, turn wet wasteland and swamps into a forest. As you can see, it's more of a woods if you ask me. You come over here. And let's start off with a fishing village. So we're going to plant some resources. And the way you start cities, here comes the mountain, is there will be nomads. There's one wandering nomad you can see here. He is looking for resources. And these are the resources right here. One of the resources is food. A forest village has settled. Forest villages often start projects that require food. The apple icon. Try using fruit plants, domestic animals within the borders. Borders is another important thing. You can see our village of Green Run here. And these towers, that is the border. So all the resources within this, we're getting six food. Or no, four food. Guess the borders don't count. But we're going to use our powers again to create more mackerel. And if you'll watch, you'll see the amount of food went up. That's because each uh, each flora and fauna and mine, each resource basically has symbiosis, which means they work in tandem with other resources. And this is Master School plus one animal names for each other macro within animal names. I got twice. So we got, we have two macro per each of these have to have four on it. And we want to increase the range. And we started a new project. Should be paying attention. We gotta up the food and youth and up the technology. And oh look, we have a new nomad. How do we increase technology, I hear you asking? We can use our advanced minerals and our herbs. And this is a forest, so we're going to plant some herbs right about here. And we'll probably be using our forest giant guardian to increase that. And there's a lot, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. This is food and use, wealth in the borders, technology in the borders, prosperity, which is how happy, and greed, which is a dangerous part, and we'll cover that later. Let's see what our swamp guardian planted. He made some dandelions. 
that symbiosis is plus tech and nature next to a plant. So we can do another tech plant, or we could do a fruiting plant, which we're going to do. And we can see the tech on the dandelion right here goes up to 13. And there are some numbers underneath our village, 11 out of 31. That means we're using 11 food right now, and the max is 31. Same with tech, we have the village is employing three points of tech, and it can employ up to 13. Which, if we look at this, we have to use 15, so we can't possibly increase it, and gotta get to 15 food, which we're well on our way to, if we just increase. So, we need to make some decisions. We need to start enhancing our resources. This leaf aspect, level one, ups the nature and technology of all plants. So we add it to here. Goes up to 15. Of course, that's the uh, um, only aspect you can hold right now. And it's a lesser aspect. If you look at the uses, there's lesser leaf aspect, potent leaf aspect. Basically, you have a one in three chance of doing a really good upgrade. Or a really, you have, it's basically a critical hit, kind of. You have a one in three chance of getting a better leaf aspect, which would increase everything and allow for transmutations. All right, what you need. We need lesser toxic aspect. We could think about that. Our borders are growing, so we're gonna increase. Hmm. I don't think our borders are quite there yet. And let's increase. Let's use leaf aspect on our blueberries. That adds to tech. We could transform them to tomatoes or strawberries, but I don't think we want to do that yet. We're just going to leave them alone for now. We will slowly get enough. So now we've got to... Now we can take a break from those guys for a bit. And let's plant a rock here because we got some... We have a nomad wandering around. There's a... We got some agate minerals. It's next to an animal nest. It it has a symbiosis. So we get this guy to come over here, and there's a new village. Green Peak. All right. Let's add an exotic. Wait, wait, wait. Let's double check this. Yep. Plus wealth effects to an animal nest, so we're gonna add an animal nest. They start the project. All right, we've completed our first project, and this means an ambassador has appeared, and whichever type of biome the village lives in depends on which, as which uh, ambassador you get. So we got a forest ambassador, and each giant, any giant can pick up an ambassador and that increases their skills. You can see here, food aspect for the forest giant, ocean giant gets the crystal aspect, rock giant gets exotic, swamp gets reaction. So we go to our forest giant guardian and pick up the ambassador. And there we are. He has an ambassador. He can use food aspect. Hmm. But none of our fruit can currently, well, he, here these dandelions are open. Lesser growth, le, le, lesser growth aspect is needed. And if you look, that's him. So we're gonna increase this. But we also gotta take a look at this. So as you can see, you've got a lot of stuff going on. We got our wealth and technology. Mm. So, how are we going to up our wealth and technology? That's part of the town. So, 
10, all right, 12 out of 32, wealth, and three out of five tech. So we're on our way to wealth. So we're gonna add advanced minerals, which are the tech minerals, into the city. And we check out the, we got desert tortoise. I think that is the patch. Nope, not gonna work, is it? Uh, no. But we want to keep the wealth. So Desert Tortoise is not going to be in a good symbiosis right now. We might have to move him about. So it's a bit of a like strategy puzzle game too. In that you got to put the right thing next to the right thing. Activate symbiosis with five technology and youth. Easy. Plant. Alright. Now the thing about deserts, they aren't great for plant life. As you'll soon see, our borders just opened. We'll add, we'll do some exotic herbs. Symbiosis, everything's looking great. Yeah, it's just a withered shrub. Let's get Ocean Man to come over here and put down some water and see what happens to our great big planet. But we want to keep them nearby because they are kind of slow. We don't have any projects going on right now. Plants get upgraded. Plants get upgraded. Let's see. Empty patch. Empty patch. Alright, this will be a good spot for it. The desert ambassador has appeared. We completed the tool shop. Alright. Forest giant can get hunt aspect. That's really good. Ocean Giant gets Monsoon. Rock Giant gets Noble. Swamp Giant gets Predator. Both of these, uh, hmm. And obviously, we can't pick up an Ambassador for our Forest Giant because he has everything. So we will not be getting the Hunt Aspect. So let's go for Predator Aspect by picking up the Desert Ambassador. And we've changed it up a bit. We have cause things to happen. We've made Green Peak greener. We're going to make an even bigger ocean. Oh, we have got to pick him up. All right. Now we can upgrade these with the lesser predator. Ooh, okay. See, he got destroyed because his environment changed. So I'm gonna put in a new advanced mineral here to see if it changes. I don't think it did. I was just checking. But we gotta get this guy to come over here. We'll get back to this shortly. I'll explain later. Plants, some plants. Get some food going. So that upgrade, that increases the food output, which is important. But it also allows us to transmute into apple trees. And we got the we got the potent food aspect on both of those. So we got two pear trees. And they have a symbiosis where uh, plus 10 food and plus 5 off each plant next to the pear tree so they feed off each other. This guy is going here. You can't do that. What are we thinking? Remember to advance the game and unlock greater powers and errors. You need to achieve different developments. The development are listed in the start of the game, but also in unlock. All right, we're done here. You need to come over here and let's stop by this other village. Hmm. We got all the tech we need. What's the tool shop do now that we completed? The tool shop project is completed. 10, it supplies 20 wealth, 10 tech. 
And plus 10 wealth, plus 5 tech for each mineral within this border. It stacks up to 3 times. Uh, I'm not sure which border that is, but we're going to add some precious minerals right here. And that'll be doing good. Ooh, animal nest. So once we get this guy sorted out, we're going to add the, see these mackerel here. You add some more animals, and you will apply the predator aspect to these. And watch this. Upgrade those, turn them into sea bass, and their predators, plus three food if there's any mackerel or clownfish within the animal range. Here's the animal range. So we're gonna be getting another one. Hmm. Yes. I see. Predator. Create some prey for the predator. So you can see we have a lot of food coming into the village now, 79. But we're still at 30 tech. So Let's see if we can increase this tech. Let's see. Hmm. Dandelions. Strawberries or nightshade. We need lesser to toxic aspect. Bears has started. Food. Somebody already. Ooh, we need, we need literally one more food. And we need to win a war and we need more technology. So, hmm, we gotta think. Let's do some tech minerals right here. Do they have any projects ongoing? And it has been a while since I've played this game, so I'm trying to remember how we get wars to happen. But I think we need to give these guys a lot of resources and then make them want it. If we go to Green Run, we can see their greed. The more red faces the greedy the village is, the greedy villages may cause mischief, and by that we mean they will start wars. There's no threat to the village. Okay, so you did not put your put that in. And let's put some domestic animals here. And you come over here too. We got some things to do. Let's double check this. All right, technology is still doing bad. All right, we create some chickens. We don't like that. We're gonna add the predatory aspect and transform them. Right? No. No, no, I've done it all wrong. Exotic animals. Let's try that. Foxes and beavers. Now we do the predator aspect. And you make another advanced mineral. Foxes. Potent hunt aspect. Wait, 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 let me... Rabbit, beaver, chicken. I don't like that. I've messed it all up. We are gonna... Mess around with their economy and see what happens. There's chickens. This will make them greedy, I believe. Workshop challenge. Food, wealth, and technology. Hmm. Raise the amount on a village will destroy it. Yep. Alright. We gotta do some of you guys. 
And you can see they're at 83 out of 75 technology. That will make them more greedy. Food is going to be dwindling. If we get them greedy enough, they will start a war. We got 11 minutes to provoke the war in them. And keep in mind what I just said. I did just advocate war <laughs> for <laughs> to advance the video game. Only in the process of this game. What do we got? Stoats. Wealth. Wealth. Hmm. I don't know. Fever. Let's see. Gotta add. Hmm. I don't know if we like this. Let's do some more herbs. And then we can think about a third village. We do have this guy, a nomad wandering around. Dandelions. We'll add the leaf aspect to that. And then Swampy, come over here. We got some irrigated land for a swamp. And if we come around, we can see, ooh, see that? We have Let's make let's not make the ocean that much more big, but let's do it a bit. We got a lot of thought emoticons going on in this village. The greed has gone down actually. So maybe we will not be a warlike faction. But we did create some dangerous animals. And we have a swamp. Swamps are cool. You get your way over here because you're kind of slow. We just created some peppermint. So we've got a swamp village by the name of Fort Path. All right. They're good at tech, so that's all they got. Let's do some exotic animals over here. And see what we can get. The tool shop challenge is started. Wait, 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 wait. While you're here, let's raise the mountain. And you can see the earth is almost completely covered in new land. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, misclick there. He just does it like that, because he's cool. All right. And we're going to make a range of mountains, I think. While he's doing that, we're going to finish up with this swamp area. We created a poison dart frog. Oh, and if you click on a tile, you can also see swamp, fort path, which means it's in the vicinity. Plus two wealth and range of next to elderberry. Got to figure out how to do elderberry, but I have a feeling it's going to be fruit plant. All right, let me check. Tomato, marshmallow. All right, I think we're good. You got shortcuts here. Oh, right. I should have been looking at that, but basically if you lower it into an ocean and then raise it with a mountain, it's basically level, so it's that forest there. So watch this. Um, excuse me. You come over here. He created elderberries, which works with the poison dart frog, of course. And being next to an animal in the poison dart frog, you get plus seven food, plus three nature, 
So what do we need? We need but we need wealth and technology. We're getting some wealth. If we take a look at Swampy over here. Adds wealth and danger. So we're gonna do that to the poison dark frog. Oh, he's working his magic. Let's get all that done. But you need to come over here, Mr. Mountain Guardian. We could turn this into an iguana. Hmm. I see some symbiosis we could take, make use of. Go to Rockman. Everyone's doing their part. Look at all that. These guys will be iguanas. We'll just keep those poison dart rocks. Check out this salt. We are going to do another salt. But we've got to wait for it to cool down. And we can check how it's doing. Except the swamp village is settled. Say hello to Tree Valley. Their borders are not happy. So. We're going to see how that works out. They'll each get more gold for this, hopefully. Wait, 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 no. That's not a, is that not a mineral? Precious mineral. Let's try this one. There we go. And they start on their own challenge. They need wealth and technology. We'll be adding that. And also mountains. Hmm. Hmm. That's gotta cool down. We created some ginger. If it's next to an animal nest, it will be some biosis, so we can do that. Swamp Guardian did a lot of work. Works with me next to a plant. And let's do advanced minerals on the top of the mountain. Watch those numbers go up, up, up. All right. 21 tech, or 10 tech. Okay, project's close to running out of time. 21 gold, 10 tech. We need 15. They need to advance their borders. Or we just add some herbs. Actually, let's add an animal. And it said we have a project running out of time. So we can go to here, there's our HUD board, look at all our projects at a glance. How many? You can see the time is although it's not exact unless you click on the home. Go all the way here. How's the green run doing? Your barracks are not gonna happen, and that's all right. You are too peaceful. So we create some regular frogs. No elderberries for you. But that put us in range to complete the tool shop. We're just gonna get technology that's almost complete. Hide this at a glance. There we go, Swamp Ambassador. Swamp and Forest, which I have guys, so it's gotta be Mountain Giant Seismic Aspect, or Herd Aspect. Might as well, let's get them. Hop on. Your giants are growing stronger and stronger. However, it seems that the humans have noticed this as well. At some point, the humans will no longer be impressed with completing some projects and demand higher level projects. Six ambassadors, 
you'll never get longer than ambassador for normal projects, and then 10 for upgrade projects, 14 for great projects. So there we go. But I got some new stuff I can do. We have herd aspect. We need potent aspect for that. Potent predator, potent exotic. I'm not there yet. Let's go over here and think about some other people. Hmm. Need a technology boost. Ooh, that's empty. So let's give him some technology. Symbiosis. So we're going to upgrade these guys with our first herd aspect. Upgrade them into goats. And maybe that'll be enough for today. We will save our game. Just save it with this. It doesn't matter. Yes. Alright, game saved. That will be it for today, folks. If you like what you see, then please subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll be releasing in the second half of this episode later. So stay, stay subscribed to my channel to see that. And if you're really, really curious, hit the bell icon to be notified of when I do that. I'd greatly appreciate that. I'd also really appreciate you hitting the like button on this video. But, you know, only if you actually like the video. I'm not going to say you have to do it to be a real fan TM. We're not we're not there yet, we're not at that level yet. And if you have other you know if you want to see other games or see other certain things, if you have any suggestions that are helpful and nice to human beings, then leave a comment down below in the section. Comment section below. Sorry about that. And most importantly for my videos, if you really do like them, then please share them with other people your friends, your family, and people you think would enjoy watching this video. That'll be it for today, folks. Bye.